What is up guys? It is Styx here and today I'm going to be showing you guys where all of the growing curse week ascendant chests are. Now, starting off, the best way to know it's the growing curse week is you will see Petrovenge located in the Devalian Mists. You go over here, talk to her, get your bounties, get your tinctures of Queen's Foil, raid banners, charge of light, whatever you need. But when you're done with that, just run back right over here, and we're going to head into the Bay of Drowned Wishes Lost Sector. This is a pretty important Lost Sector. There's plenty of Ascendant-related things in here. The Challenge, Chests, as well as, obviously, it becomes a Legend or Master Lost Sector some days. So, we come here quite frequently. Once you are running through here, you can pretty much ignore all of the enemies that you will come across. If you really want to just shoot at them for no reason, feel free. But we are going to be making our way up here, and then you will see all of these trees. You're going to go to this one. Try and not trigger too many of these mines. They'll be a little bit annoying on your way out. And then we're going to use a Tincture of Queen's Foil. And the Ascendant Chest is right here. Now we are going to go back. Once you are back in the transmap point, you're going to hop on your Sparrow or your Glider. We're going to go on over to the Spine of Carries. Glider's gonna make this easier just because you can glide across that real easily. You can also glide across this real easily. Once you are about here, you're gonna wanna dismount and you will look over here. If you wanna try and gamble this with your sparrow and your life, that is on you, but I do not recommend it. We're going to be making our way this way, onto this bridge. This is another location that's pretty similar to where a specific Ascendant chest is. Just move over here, and there it is. We're going to follow this platform, which will lead to this platform. Just keep following me along real quick. Once we're up here, here is your second Ascendant chest. For the third Ascendant chest, we are back at the transmat point. Hop on your mount. Here. Imagine you're coming out of this cave, and you're going to come over to the right here. this platform onto this platform you will see a bunch of conflicting platforms on this one it can be a little confusing so just follow along up here we're gonna climb up here and then depending on your jump you're gonna try and get up onto this little rock here get here and this is basically the goal you're trying to get to is we are going up into the sky so whatever path leads you upwards you are going to follow Go down here, and here you go. All right. That is the third Ascendant chest, so let us reset. Next, you ignore the public event, and on to the next chest. We are heading to Rhea Sylvia. Once you reach this little campy sort of area, you're going to dismount your skimmer or your sparrow. And you're going to want to make your way over here. Follow me along. And you're going to follow this little 
sort of secret, I guess, mountain path. And this is going to take us up this little mountain here. Just keep following. You're gonna wanna jump on over here. Take this little rocky cliffside path. You see a big ol' awoken statue that is one of many ways to tell you're going the right direction. I'm just gonna jump on up here. Here's the awoken statue. I believe there's also a little cat around here. And you'll also get a decent idea of knowing you're in the right spot when you're looking down on all of this. And once you begin to see the platform, jump up, jump right here, jump here, take a right, and you're gonna get here, and it's gonna look like there's nothing there. That's because there is nothing here. You are going to want to jump a little bit forward and sort of try to stagger your jumps if you're on the Warlock or Titan class. And you're going to try and just land on this platform and collect that chest. Now the next chest is going to be in the Chamber of Starlight Lost Sector. If you already know what that is, feel free to skip ahead. If not, follow me. You're gonna get up to here and hang a right. I almost missed that. It's a lot easier to do that when you're not on the skimmer. I do recommend walking a little bit here. Just because, in general, this is an extremely buggy lost sector and sometimes the enemies just don't appear. So don't try to sparrow or skimmer through this or anything like that. And, you know, take a little bit of your time. Kill a few things. Or kind of gunsmith bounty, I don't know. Either way, give it a little bit of time to register that you're in here and that, you know, there's things for you to do. Otherwise, it might not work for you. So... Once you are coming on in, feel free to clear out some of the ads. We're going to make our way over here. I'm just going to get these guys out of the way real quick. And the path should be appearing. There it is. Right around here. And we're going to just keep going. It's going to take us above the chest. Just be wary of where you are going here. To get to around here, you're gonna see two chat or two platforms pop up. It doesn't matter which way you go, because you're just trying to go up. Do whatever's easiest for you. You're gonna keep going. So another platform here. Another platform here. We're circling back around. The chest is actually not on a platform this time, it's all the way up here. So if you can find a way to get up here, then, you know, there's that. Alrighty, and for the last Ascendant chest we will be covering in this video, we are going to head towards the Strand. Jump up here. Missed. And then you're going to want to go with one of two methods. I just don't really like to think about it too much, so I just climb on up. But you can also get up here on the other side too. Just make sure you don't fall in the hole. 
And we are going to be making it our personal goal. Climb up onto the statue. This one's going to be notably more difficult as a jumping puzzle. Just in terms of less space to walk on or land on. Recommend taking it one step at a time. Hunters will have a little bit of an easier time with this, but realistically, all of the classes have some kind of movement exotic that help greatly. Doing this on Warlock was quite something, though. Jump down here. And here you go. Alrighty. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, and I hope that was as helpful as it could be to all of you. Thank you for watching, and peace, guys.